Superior! Episode 3, The Golden Fist. Greetings gamers and welcome back to the world of D&D. And uh, we are back in with Kaizen. Hey! Debra. Yo, yo! Uh, Valamir. Valamir. Wee oui, wee, oui, it is me. <sighs> uh, Krulax. That's me. And of course, uh, our DM, uh, Ruben. Hello, welcome back. Kaizen, I feel like I cut you off there. What, what did you want to say? I was about to say, oh, that's probably not the, the sound that Kaizen would make, which is, hey! <laughs> hey, yo! Hey, yo! I don't know. Kaizen could be right after, party. after two meads, we, we might get Maybe, get yeah, it just becomes some, like, some Jersey guy. <laughs> hey! <Right. laughs> hey! It yo, depends on what bar you were walking into. <laughs> today, today the dice we will be rolling uh, have been sent to us by Little Dragon Corp, and they are awesome. I got this hardcore, metallic, chromed out uh, D20 that I'm gonna be rolling. Uh, thank you so much to Little Dragon. There's a link in the description if you wanna get your own dice. They send them in this really cool tin, and uh, they are really high quality. You get a dice bag, uh, you get, look, I got, they sent me a whole bunch of stuff. I got extra dice right here. Uh, the D and D for, dice for sets you get yeah. like each of the weapons. No, in it. Uh, I, I was telling them earlier that I was uh, I was so excited. I opened my door and I found like a big box of dice. I was like, oh, I don't know. And I was bragging when I jumped into D and D today. And then Lasercorn's like, yeah, that's that's because we're working with them. I was like, yeah. Oh, I love them. Yeah. Wow. Definitely, definitely, absolutely check nice. them out uh, if you want to take your D and D game to the next level or any any uh, RPG you're playing. Previously on Tales from Tetheria, while trying to take down their first bounty, Debra set a mountain of coffins on fire, Kaizen beat up a frog person, Valamir used an arrow to knock over a cauldron, and Krulax body slammed a necromancer. Okay, you're all caught up. You are standing outside of the Gold Baron Cemetery. You have uh, a tied up wannabe necromancer on the back of one of your horses, and a frog person on the back of one of your other horses. Uh, what would you like to do? Well, now that we have what we need here, there is no time to waste. Let's get this back so that we can become the greatest bounty hunters this side of the countryside. Ah. We're kind of uh, putting a target on our back. We're probably not the only bounty hunters after this guy, right? I mean, he had a pretty high bounty on his head, and now we got a smoke signal going in the air. Maybe we should get on the road, right? Uh, yes, I do not disagree with this. Uh, I would like my money as soon as possible. Let's I'm do okay it. I'm okay doing that, but I'd like to torture the frog as we go. To torture the frog as we go. Ooh, but I'm, I'm on my horse. On your horse. Uh, I don't think that's such a good idea. <laughs> let's not uh, let's not leave the frog with Kaizen. Why why do you need to torture the frog? Yeah. Like, I don't get me wrong, I do not want the frog at all. I would not mind some frog legs. <laughs> but to torture the frog, it does not make any sense to me. What yeah, said? I don't know what this frog creature is capable of. It already poisoned you once. We don't need anything else happening. I think the frog should ride with me. Did you know, fun fact, that the poison dart frog, little critter, of very much poison, the only reason it is poisonous is because it eats a specific ant that eats, you know, poison plants. So it is the frog that eats the ant that becomes poisonous. So I ask you, Quacha, what is it that you take into your body to make you so poisonous? At the moment, Quacha is at zero hit points. Um, oh. oh. Yeah. Uh, I kind of poke it with my long bow and I see that uh, he is still sleeping. Yep. Okay, never mind. Yes, that is, uh, that is a fun fact uh, there that you gave us, Falamir. I also knew that fact because I also logged into my crystal reddit ball <laughs> this morning. <laughs> 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 fact. But thank you. Uh, all right, so let's hit the road. I think uh, Pilgar is to the east, yes? Yes, it's so. If you look at your map, it's a little Sadness bit north and east of you. All right, so um, let's. You kind of have two main options here, of how to try to get to Loris. You're at, you're at Gold Baron, and you're trying to get to Loris, which is pretty much northeast of you. Um, and there are oh, okay, sort of yeah. two avenues. You can take a straight shot, which would cut across the Empire of Targus. Probably through Port Galvis to Loam Lake, or you can cut through the Muldoon Mountains, n avoiding Targus entirely, uh, going up the mountains towards Loris. 
Yeah, I'm going to cast my vote for uh, going through the mountains because uh, I think uh, me and Kaizen and also Deborah are, are wanted in Targus. We have not had good experiences in Targus. Uh, I think we should cut through the mountains. What do you guys think? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you say that you are wanted in Targus? I, uh, yes. Felibear, not... lots of people want us. Okay, if anything, we want yeah. a little bit of fresh air. There's mountains over here. Dwarves, dwarves love mountains. We always take Yeah, mountains. I'm a dwarf. I love mountains. Let's do it. Wanted. Wanted for our expert so, bounty hunting skills. Targus. What might happen? Don't mind me. I am just writing things in a journal that mean nothing. It is okay. just my little right. diary. Uh, Falomer, since you Targus. are just sort of meeting up with these three, I'm gonna look. Go ahead and let you make a history check. All right. To see what uh, you remember about potential bounties that you may have heard of concerning people like this. I have rolled. Guys, we may have eight. to kill Falomer. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Uh, 8 plus 2. I have rolled a 10. Total of 10. Okay. Um, you have not personally heard of any bounties on uh, anyone fitting these descriptions. Nice. Uh, okay. So, can't be too, can't be too far and wide, can't be too wanted. Um, uh, though to be right. fair, you've been out of the country of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, Targus for a while. You mostly know of the bounties in your area, you know, but there's nothing in the Raldaren Combine uh, that you've heard of concerning these three. So, Copy seems, that. Seems legit. Well, all right. If you say that Targus is not very safe for you, I do not want any extra trouble. I just have my bounty here, and I would like us to get paid as soon as possible. So, if the mountains are the fastest route to that, then I say okay. Yeah, they're not the fastest route, but we, we don't like Targus. So, it's going to take us a little longer, but... You know, we get to see the mountains. I agree. Let's do it. I lived in the mountains for months. I, I mean, yeah. yeah I mean, I, you basically are a mountain. <laughs> Deborah's a rock one. gnome, so yeah. <laughs> this is where I fell in love with my bee enchantress. Yeah, I say we hit the trail for a little bit and then pull over and find a place to camp. Yeah, I say I say we move as quickly as possible. So we'd like to move through the night. Great. So you'll move. You'll you'll you know put a couple hours between you and. Gold Baron Cemetery, leaving the steaming, smoking pile of wood and rubble and corpses mm -hmm. in the distance. And even a couple hours later, once you start reaching foothills of, uh, of the mountains, you can look over your shoulder and behind you is flat, nondescript badlands and one smoking plume. <laughs> Job well done. Job so, well done. All right, I, I'm gonna. I think we're we're far away enough away from the uh, the the smoke signal and the fire now. I say we set up camp. Yeah, that's the rest of the ponies I'll chop the and firewood. our dogs with my axes. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's my thing. So you are you are in foothills now. It is you know rolling hills, some nice grasses. There's some small scrub brush that you can gather for a fire. Guys, listen, we're stopping um, for the night. I just gotta say, if we have any rope or can, like, gather vines or anything, we should double tie up Falomir. I, I don't, or, or not Falomir, sorry, not our friend, Bantu. Yeah, uh, Bantu. hold on. I'm not into that unless you <laughs> are. Please. Got, got the names wrong. Hey, I just Bantu. met you. I, and I just met this guy, too. Listen, I'm not good with names. I'm a rock. Point is, we should tie him up extra. <laughs> Batu is uh, sort of glowering at you from the back of his pony or the we, back of whatever pony he's on. Okay, yeah, well, we could find some vines. Do we need to tie up Quacha too? Yeah, I say we double tie everyone. And also, let's make sure this yeah. guy's gagged. We got, we got to make sure yes, there's no uh, way for them to escape. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm contractually obligated to do at least one of those per day. I, uh... <laughs> it is going to be a very long trip to this bounty, I can see. But yes, uh, little, the pet rock is right. We should double tie them and also make sure the necromancer cannot say anything. His words are a weapon. Mm. Uh, I have a, I have a kit, I believe. Okay. Uh, you have a kid? In what yeah. city? Targus. It's why uh, we're not I'm going wanted there. in Targus for yeah. I want. Right. I, I'm wanted for child <laughs> support in Targus. It's. I know. I don't have a dungeoneer kit. I mm. have Smith's tools. So does the Smith's nice. tools have rope? The Smith's tools do not have rope. Oh, okay. Rope well, not boned. very useful in smithing. You're right. Okay, I'm boned. Does anyone have any rope? No, we really didn't bring a lot of stuff, did we? Uh, I believe I have 50 feet of rope. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. why we have you. 
Uh, no, you have <laughs> me because I have you. Remember that. I have brought you here so that we can get this bounty, and perhaps I will let you join my little bounty hunter. Your guild group. with, uh, with yeah, no well. people in it till we showed up? You're zero. You're uh, guild I have zero. people across <laughs> the lands. People are working you. I just had a job, and you were there. Since, I, I, felt since I gave Falomer a history check, I'll go ahead and let um, Krulax make a history check here. Ooh. History check. I so roll how much you know about bounty hunter guilds. A thirteen, plus what am I? What, what am I adding? A modifier. Your history bonus, which I believe is intelligence plus if you're proficient in history. In oh, history! Long, pl history it, is plus yeah. zero. Intelligence is plus zero. So just thirteen. <laughs> okay. Oh, of course. This is the class he stayed awake in during. School. Yeah, with with a thirteen. I mean, I mean, first of all, you don't know much about Ral Darren. Mm -hmm. So. You don't, I mean, I don't know. Have you ever been to Raldarn previous to this? Nope, nope, first time here. I live most of my <laughs> life in Tarkis. <laughs> You're not particularly familiar with Raldarn bounty hunting groups. Right, um, but it is. It is like one of the few countries that you aren't wanted in, so <laughs> you don't necessarily know. It is, it is a little suspicious that your guild, he was the only one there recruiting for his guild, but whatever, okay, maybe your guild's bigger. I'm just saying, I am capable of finding a good warrior when I see one, and I look at you two, and I was like, uh-huh, these guys shall come with me on this trip, we were like, oh. and I see if you come in. <laughs> oh, maybe. All right, guys, And guys. then you bring along this little pet rock. Yes. Yeah. I'm saying we tie him up. Listen, sorry, deborah has been thinking. We tie him up, and then I give you guys those fire bombs. We should put a couple on them, because they're sticky, and because I can make fire happen with my hands. If he tries to run or anything, I can just blow him up. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and say that's a terrible idea, especially if we start, <laughs> especially if we starting a Teach campfire. Them. One spark gets on him, and suddenly our bounties go up in flame. I think we should just hold <laughs> off on the sticky bombs. I know you're really excited about setting stuff on fire. Well, let's just hold yeah. off. Let's just hold off. Maybe let's just tie him up for now. I am still very confused on what oil that you use Lantern that oil. actually sticks. Don't don't worry too much about corn. It. Corn is okay. corn. Corn oil. Corn oil. That's right. Oh, that's right. You uh, get that good corn syrup so in there. Let's just tie them up for now, and then uh, we set up camp, and we uh, we get ready to, to sleep. So uh, you can pretty easily set up a camp. Um, you can tie up Quacha and tie up Batu. Um, it is dinner time. Oh, yeah. Um, if you want to eat uh, and feed your prisoners, if you want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I, want I to. love some In of my frog. backpack. Let's eat the frog. Nope. <laughs> nope. The frog might come in and, handy and later. And it, goes, it just poisoned you. As it now has a bound gag in its mouth. Yeah. Do you not remember I how would... it poisoned you last time you touched it? Mm, I'm starting to remember this. Frog. I would very much appreciate that we do not dismember anyone here. It would be quite uh. Ick. Yeah, we might Can get an I... extra bounty for her too. Let's let's hang on. Him, her, whatever it is. The frog. Guys, listen, I know it's dinner time. I just, and I know, listen, I always suggest something that's a little fucked up. I know who I am, but I really want to do this. And so I might just do it whether or not you agree. I want to take out my knife and I want to rub it gently against Quatch's cheek, getting it coated in his toxins. And then Sexy. I want to, and then I want to cut both calves, just a nice little cut, just to get the poison in both the calves of his neck. Are you trying attack. to get high off our prisoner? No, no, I'm trying to make his uh, wait, legs Wait, 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 you want to cut the frog's calves? I want to rub it against the frog to get the poison on my knife, and I want to cut the calves. Just just little lacerations on Bantu or whatever, just so he okay. gets poisoned. I want to poison his feet. On Batu? Yeah, okay. Batu. Yeah, guys, look, so... I just, I'm very suspicious about people. I want to paralyze him. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I pull my bow on, on Deborah there. I'm like, what are you doing with that knife on this little man here? We need him alive. What are you doing? Hey, bro. I I don't know if you heard me when I was talking out loud. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this knife. <laughs> I'm going to rub it on the cheeks of this guy here. And then I'm going to stab this other guy in the cats. Bantu. Uh, you will not stab my bounty. I need this guy alive and unharmed. I do not know what this frog's poison does. Bound his legs. He cannot run. That is how you poison. Fine. Someone what if he get open a, his gets eyeballs the and let me like drip some Or even in. look at this. Look at the monk here from the Milfwood Forest. She just barely touched the frog and got poisoned. Well, I mean, that's why I wanted just to his forehead on the frog. To the, the living shit out of him, okay? I, I wasn't all just right, trying to touch right. the frog. Quacha and Batu are just like shooting looks back at each other, like. 
Look. In fact, if we just tie them together, then the, then the, the frog will be rubbing up against him all the whole time. I, I gotta like that idea. Yeah, it and let's let, use. It doesn't let Deborah get near our prisoner with a knife, which I just think is a terrible, <laughs> terrible idea. Look, okay. I like his. I like Falamir's idea, and let's gag Batu with the foot of the frog, so he's sucking on the poison. <laughs> you are some very odd things, yeah, little rock. Kinky out here, but sure, let's do that. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, All guys. All right. That really means a lot. <laughs> so you bind the two together. After we fed them. We fed them first. You mm -hmm. feed them. Mm -hmm. um, and as they're, as they're eating, Batu is going to, like, you know, going to say stuff. Mm -hmm. As he is Quacha, Batu is going to be like, I can't, I can't be, I can't be given away alive. You know that. I would rather die than be given to Andor. Hey, you don't this have an option. Oh, yeah, okay. unless you are the one giving the bounty, which I did not see that happening. Sure, I guess that is sure. not going to be the case. Can you pay more All than right. Andor? Oh, hold on. I mean, it's maybe. not necessarily just the money that we need here, but it is the fame and the, the name status. that is our bounty guild. <laughs> you get one job done successfully, and then all of a sudden everyone comes to you with their jobs. Okay. Yeah, I don't trust this guy anyway. I was down to poison him a minute ago. <laughs> yeah, we, we remember. Batu shakes his head and is just like, well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Well, I've seen I've seen how efficient you t you four are, so we'll see how it goes. Oh, this guy's a Watch, I thought we bound that I thought we bound a frog foot in his mouth. This, what this happened? Was, He's this eating. Was during He's the, eating this dinner. was during oh, the meal portion. Yeah, gotcha. well, we we made, we all all you must eat faster. Yeah. Quacha is going to say... Look, I'm not, I'm, I just got hired by this guy. I'm not here, you know, like, I'll be on your team. You know what I mean? Like, he's not even paying me that much, right? My contract is done. I got all the things he wanted. See, that guy's right? in, why would on we our want, team. He, she. Why would you want someone that is, why would we want someone that is as uh, anti-loyal as you? One thing goes wrong, I and then all of a sudden you turn money, on your last right. partner. That's all That's I right. work for. If you pay me, I'm like yo. Why do we have to pay you? you? Pay we me? have you wrapped up in binds, and I also, you know, I'm all into well, swingers, but not this kind of swinging. You're just going back and listen, forth, whoever you here's, want, here's whoever's giving you what you. <laughs> I'm a valuable part of the team. You were gonna just use me as a poison dip, all right? Plus, <laughs> I can, I can heal you. I can, you know, I'm small. In order to be healed, we must first be hit. And have you seen these warriors true? Yeah. We cannot take damage. You, you, <laughs> I just saw you take damage. What are listen, you talking about? Listen, Quacha, look, I got three health. I got three health missing. We're we're a group where we're, we're we do majority. You want me to heal you? Um, no, I'm about to take a nap, so I'm good. But I mean, like okay. in the future. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If like we're hurt, like maybe I'll think about coming to you. Just just sit tight in those ropes, you know, kind of. Well, if I'm deal tied with up with my calf in his mouth, I'm not gonna be able to heal you now. Am we'll I? deal with that when we get to it. Just you know, chill where you are. We're not gonna kill you. We're not gonna sell you. We might kill you, but first we're gonna deal with this guy. So, like, you you we're time. gonna kill her. <laughs> Listen, you got time to figure it out. All right, just, just you immediately went board. back on the we're not gonna kill you thing. <laughs> Well, I haven't talked to Look, Kaizen yet. I, okay. Kaizen gonna, and I got. I'm, I'm, I'm here to, to make Kaizen. deals, you know. I'm I'm like y'all. I'm a freelancer. I'm just I'm just available for you know. I'm a soldier of fortune, like you all. All right, well, be a soldier of shutting up for now, and we'll think about your offer. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, something I can agree with. <laughs> I do eat. I do eat ants, though. That is a thing that you were right about. All right. Uh, <laughs> So we bind them together and we set up camp. Uh, before before we before you do that though, I gotta I gotta do a thing. Um, I gotta keep I gotta moisturize. So just like don't counter this spell, okay? No. Mm -mm. Wait, hold, hold on. Whoa, Wait. Whoa, no. Whoa, whoa. Uh, I I uh, in my vast number of years that I have been a bounty hunter, I have seen people try stupider things here. But you think I'm going to let you cast a spell while in captivity? I, I, I don't think but so. My skin is going to dry out and crack if I don't get water. Uh, let's just spit on him. Yeah, spit on him. No. Spit. Yeah, no, don't okay, spit cool. on me. Give him some spitting. water. Give him some water. <laughs> oh. We shall put some. We we, sh we have some water we can spare. We shall pour on your head, okay, and you shall fine. take it. That's fine. 
All right. Sorry about the spitting. We don't want you casting spells yet unless we So we're we not spitting on him? Fine. No. I did Cruel twice. sword, go ahead. Give him some water. Yeah, we give the frog thing some water. And uh, Quacha is moisturized for the day, as is a requirement for grungs to not dry out. <laughs> gotcha. And you tie them up. And you want to just go to bed? Uh, I think someone. I, should, I, just, I think someone should take watch. Well, if I am correct about a uh, the elves, I think that they do not actually need to go to sleep all the way. Just hit a meditative state. So, right. if I am correct, uh, you know, Kaizen, maybe you just hit your meditative state and you make sure that the rest of us get a good night's sleep. Okay? Can she can she take watch in that state? Can she wa be watchful in that meditative state, Ruben? So you take, you don't need to sleep. Instead, you meditate deeply, remaining conscious for four hours a day. Guys, we'll leave this up to you. Do you want someone to take watch with you? I was is, just going to ask, but my tinkerer's kid, can I, like, put together, like, a bell or something? That'll, like, make sound yeah, if someone moves? you moved? probably just have a bell or two pieces of, you can make some wind chimes or something. I think he wants to make, cool. like, a bell I wanna, with my string tinkers that kid. rings if someone trips it, like a tripwire. Oh, like a tripwire. Yeah. Cute. Or make a tinkering check for me. 11 plus 4, 15. What kind of, uh, you're using string for this? We'll say that you have some twine. Mm -hmm. Um, and you can line it up. Uh, we'll say that you find a nice alcove behind a waterfall. Um, and you're able to, uh, set up the twine in front of some trees, uh, leading to that waterfall. Okay. Uh, taking a rest, except one of you is trancing, of course. Go ahead and take your long rests. Reset all of your spells. Eight hours later. It's early in the morning, and you hear a, uh, a wagon, um, on the road nearby you, Kaizen. Can I do a, can I do a check roll? Yes. I'm getting a good, good feeling about these metal dice. Uh, I rolled an 18. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Nice. You look out, and it looks like it's a nicely outfitted uh, chariot uh, led by a pair of horses. Uh, on the chariot, uh, it looks like there are uh, two riders on the horses, and then on the chariot, there is a well-dressed... Uh, soldier, and with your 18, you can definitely tell that these are members of the Golden Fist. You see, um, a, sort of like a burly-ish looking, um, like no sleeves dude, um, who carries what looks like a mace. You see, uh, a lithe, um, maybe just a thin human, maybe a half-elf woman. Um, who has a longbow on her back and a short sword on her hip, and then riding on the carriage, uh, wearing a cowl, um, but sort of like an armored cowl, sort of halfway between a helm and a hood. The one who seems to be most in charge, partially armored, um, but also very... Um, secretive looking, wearing sort almost like preacher's robes, uh, with the insignia of the golden fist on, on their chest. I'd like to move, uh, in front of our, um, in front of Batu to make sure that he is, um, uh, not going to be targeted immediately by this group. Uh, can I kick the rest of the team awake? Yes. Okay, I'd like to kick everybody awake. What's going on? You I would explain explain shh, yourself. Shh, wake up. I had ah, bees. I had the okay. craziest dream, but okay, uh this is happening. There's folks and I can see them. It's the it's the it's it's the men of the fist, the gold fist. Order of the golden fist. Order order of the it's the men uh, fist men fist men, fisting men are in the forest. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, you did you wake us up because you had a dream about men fisting? It I is am confused. A little bit of column A and a little bit of column B, but it is happening in real life that the men of the fists are here. Yeah, I mean, the Golden Fist isn't a secretive organization. They make their presence known in large cities across the land. Specifically, they are on the hunt for um, uh, people who participate in the dark art of necromancy. And, oh, of course. Uh, uh, so it looks like the scout has gotten off of the horse and is investigating the remnants of the campfire. 
um, and oh, so they, is they're... sort of doing some tracking. So they're in our camp. Oh shoot, he knows we are yeah. here. You hear a voice what? call from the uh, the chariot, Necromancer. I know you're out there. I I stand up. Hey, why are you yelling so early in the morning? Me and my party are here trying to sleep. Yeah, we're here for uh, we're, we're just uh, camping out in the woods. Uh, no necromancers here. Present yourselves. I have presented myself as much as you need to see me. That is not what I think. Uh, Krulax and Kaizen, make an insight check at disadvantage. Okay, we've got a three. Oh, God. And a 12. So the three, I guess. Oh my gosh, what is up with these dice? I got a one and a 20. Wow. So one is what's gonna happen. Because <laughs> it was at disadvantage. You can't quite place the voice of the man on the back of the carriage, but it's vaguely familiar. Hmm. We might have to ask little frog guy if he knows any spells that can help us. If not, hand me those fire bombs and this force is going up as we run away. I don't recognize your voice in there, but by order of the Golden Fist, I demand that you present yourselves. Guys, I can disguise myself as that guy and walk out and talk to him and distract him for a little bit. What guy? Oh, do that. Yeah, I can show up. Uh, the guy who's talking to us. I can go peek and see what he looks like, and then I can just pretend to be his long-lost twin or something. Seems... seems oh, wait, no. Like, why don't you pretend to be the necromancer? Be the necromancer. No, they're, 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 they're going to come dangerous. for me. Yeah. I like this idea. Oh, no, I no, I like this idea. Why don't you disguise <laughs> yourself as a, a fellow member of the Golden Fist and say you wow. outrank him? Let's do it. Yeah. Just say you outrank him and to move along. <laughs> oh, now that he's here, move along. <laughs> can he do that? All right, guys. Yeah, I'll do it, but only if you, you promise try. me that hand me two of those fire bombs and pack everything up, and I'll okay. do it. So we'll move up the three behind. you we'll are going to pack up, up the horses. Okay. <laughs> And you're gonna cast Disguise Self? Yes, I cast Disguise Self. And you're gonna look like what? I'm going to look like uh, in uh, Order of the Golden Hand. I want to look like whatever the commander looks like. I want to be a little bit more eccentric. I want to be a little bit shinier. I want to be a little bit rougher. Uh, I want them to believe that I am an independent assassin of the Order. I'm such a high rank. Okay. Yes, I'm a female like secretive highest level of the order, I go out on my own and I, I assassinate the enemies okay. of our order. Uh, as as he's doing that and we're over here packing, I would just like to whisper to these two, now remember, I just hired the two of you to be my bounty hunters. Uh, if something goes wrong with this, I have no, no need for that one over there. I will turn him in so fast. So, Deborah, you can make yourself one foot taller or shorter, but no no more. So you can be a four foot tall uh, member of the Order of the Golden Fist, who looks terribly important. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see the symbology on the chest, and you can interpret that however you see fit. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, let's do let's do some of that. So you can I make myself of... one foot shorter? You can. You can be two feet tall. I would like to be two feet tall. Wait, Excellent. I, he's more than one foot tall, isn't he? That's no, I'm know. three feet no. tall and I'm taking one out. I think I'm more important if I'm two feet tall. I think they'll what? believe that I'm a very special person two, two, if I'm two, two feet, feet tall. Two feet? Two feet's yep. like a toddler. <clears throat> yeah, I'm a very special assassin, the highest ranking yep. of their order that they've never seen before. I'm a two foot tall, literal assassin. I can take him out So you quick. walk out of the bushes and you are... <laughs> around corgi size at this point. Uh, yeah, I want to step out of the bushes. I want to stand um, probably 15 feet from the, the first soldier. Um, the the first soldiers on the horse. I want to stand at the front of the caravan. I'm in front of the horses. All right, and I want to yell out, Halt! Turn back! My name is Rizagoth Lysha. Oh. I am a goth, Lysha. I am of a, of House Golden Fist. I am of the original bloodline of the order, and I was sent here in order to capture a necromancer on my own to bring him to our highest leader's personal residence. 
to undertake justice. Um, okay. Why we started off with a lie, I do not know. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's going to fly, guys. Everyone get, get your weapons um, ready. Yeah, I get, we more, should probably start to get these ponies packed. The, the buffer gentleman with no sleeves on his uh, golden fist cloak sort of goes, yeah, that's believable. That, that makes sense. The other two, the scout and the other one, sort of look down at this two-foot-tall person, look up at the plume in the distance, look back down at this two-foot-tall person, and the person on the carriage goes, so you're looking for the necromancer? Yes. It's over... It's at the graveyard. I'm aware, but there was a separate party that has taken this necromancer hold before I could get to them. I'm tracking them. Aha! And that's who made this, um... made this campfire. Uh, I would imagine, but it looks recent, but I promise you, it's an illusion spell. It's many days old. I, I, I must be far behind them. Or they've taken a, a different turn that I didn't know before. The scout is gonna turn around and look at the person on the carriage and be like, I've literally got soot on my hands. <laughs> I've got a bag of sand in my pocket. All I'm saying is people carry oh, stuff. Sand. <laughs> so, Rizagoth of House Golden Fist, who do you report to? Myself. No, 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 I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Faster, I report faster. straight to the many-faced god. All right, make a deception check. All right, deception check. I roll a d20. Mm-hmm. Then you're going to add your charisma, and if you're proficient in deception. Okay, I landed an 11. Yeah, then I, I land, rolled a 14. Okay. It looks like that, uh, the more burly, uh, muscly one in the front goes, oh man, the many-faced god, boss, I don't know about what's going on. And the guy on the back of the horse goes, Terry, we've talked about this. It's, it's, just calm down, let us do the thinking. And the scout goes, but it's the many the many-faced god, though. I mean, if, if he works for the many-faced god. Mary, I'm serious, this is not the time. We demand oh, that you Mary all come Terry. out. Nice. All right, uh, so I, I come out and I'm like, come on, guys. It's like, uh, yeah, we're here aiding uh, the order. Uh, you know, we were conscripted uh, by General Riz Rizagoth. I, I, he seemed like a good dude. Can, he asked for mm -hmm. some help hunting down this necromancer. And uh, and we we're, we're like, yeah, we'll help you. I, I, so, uh, uh, I, I, no, while I, he's I, going out there talking, I'm staying back to put the 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 guy on on the back of a, okay. a pony and the and uh, the frog on. And I would like to flank. You want to go around like the yeah. side here? Cool. Ooh. Still yeah. hiding. Still hiding. Nice. Good call. So, Falomir, you're able to uh, get the folks on the back of the horses. They are bound and gagged, and I don't have any spells that don't have verbal components. I just checked. Um, <laughs> uh, Kaizen, you're going to flank, remaining in the bushes, seeing what happens. Krulax, you're going to go back up Rizikoth. Mm-hmm. Uh, the man on the on the carriage stands up and looks down at you and says, Krulax, hey. what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, and shoot. He takes off his, he takes off his cowl, mm -hmm. and it's Gary. Oh, hey, Gary, <laughs> what's up, dude? I didn't it's realize Gary. you had joined the order. When did this happen? And the guy looks at you with a scowl on his face. And he says, for the last time, that is not my name! Oh, yeah. Roll I, initiative! I think, oh, damn it. Oh, but shit, I think Gary it's a cool name! How many Good of them one. are there total? Three? Three. One on the carriage? Is one on the carriage? One on the carriage, two on horses. So, first up is the scout. Scout rolled really well. So the scout is going to knock an arrow and aim it at, uh, well, there's still someone who has a golden fist insignia on their chest, so they're going to shoot at the other person. That's me. <laughs> That's you. Um, and is going to take two melee attacks with her longbow. That's a seven to hit and an 18 to hit. Uh, armor class 16, so I believe one of those okay. hits. So the 18 is going to hit you for five Ooh. piercing damage. Ooh. Ah, oh, guys! They shot me look. with a goddamn arrow. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, I thought uh, we were I, cool, I Gary. Take very big note of that. Gary, I thought we were dudes. <laughs> <laughs> My name's not Gary. 
to be continued next time on Tales from Tetheria. Thank you for watching, and a huge thank you to Pedro, who came through once again with the awesome animations. You can check out his Patreon down in the description below. Also, our sponsor, uh, Little Dragon, uh, for sending us these awesome dice. Thank you so very much. I will be using these uh, quite a bit in the future. Now, uh, if you want to see last week's episode, that's over here. Uh, next week's episode will be over here, uh, but if it's not out yet, it'll just be a random video until that uh, episode is out. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe, and thank you all, we'll see you next time.